You can just jump, it's really not that high. Tranking them. Yes, that they are. I guess. Yes, that they are. I guess. So wait, is that the key to this door here? It seems kind of pointless that... Sorry, I just was... Oh, okay, that does, that does do something. It seems kind of pointless that you only have to go over there to unlock it. But okay, let's just go with this. We're in a we're playing a game about a man who can't wear a shirt, so logic is probably not what they were they were aiming for with the game. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, he's not quite on the ladder there. Hanging back on the, the thing I said earlier about like the game feeling gimmicky and some stuff not really making much sense. Like that would explain why there was that random black guy at the start who helped him but then didn't really do anything else and just died. I don't know, this is a whole area just for a single key. That makes sense. Like that black guy was cool for a bit and he shot some vampires and he just died and that's it. the back isn't it? Right. So where's the owner then? Hmm. That's it, keep running towards me, that's that's really what I need. Oh, 
Okay, that was something. Yeah, I don't really want to change them, honestly. I'm quite happy with the Magnum shotgun assault rifle thing we've got going on here. I'll manage without a, a chainsaw. So I kind of got the feeling this is like Resident Evil time, but I get the sense that it's more like after Resident Evil 2. Uh, oh, where am I going? Oh, yeah, over the thing. Sort of like more like Parasite Eve 2 time and it's just like it's so bad it feels like it belongs uh, nearer when the original Resident Evil was released. I was actually thinking about it, the graphics are sort of that era. It's just the game makes so little sense that oh but it seems weird that somebody would make it. Good for you, I guess. That's it, keep staggering. Oh, that was tense. And by tense, I mean boring. Uh, oh, a door. I really don't know what's going on with this game. Obviously there's going to be some apocalypse, well, no, big showdown at the end, because that's pretty much the norm for these sorts of games, but I, I really don't know what the game is about, apart from shirtless man. Oh? Oh, Jesus Christ, even more guns? What am I starting my own militia or something? Jesus. Oh, new enemy then. Oh no. Not a new enemy, just a bad cutscene. Should have worn a vest, really. Would have protected you from the, the fall. Okay, let's give this a read. Eyeball irritation. <laughs> child bearing women. Does it mean women of child bearing age? Okay, that was nonsensical bollocks, but okay. I 
I'm guessing you won't be able to jump across because you know that that will take effort or physical fitness. You know, like muscles, and he he definitely doesn't have those apparently. Oh, there's a machine here. That's good. Just getting a bit worried. I'm carrying a lot. Jesus, the amount of ammo you get given there. Okay. So yeah, there's actually Okay, that doesn't sound good. So that's there's something here. Or something creepy anyway. Wait, how did any Oh Bloody inventory system? Maybe there? No, I don't have a map for this area. Or maybe it's that one. Okay, if I can get to this item. Okay, more bullets. Not that I really need them, but okay. Okay, well that, that's good. It doesn't even can't even shoot down. Oh well. Okay, that is some good news. Okay, more three oh eight bullets. Can't seem to pick up that item. No. Oh, I have to go this side. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so I've got 40 bullets. Alright, so it can carry infinite. Oh, that's good. 
but I've only got 40 bullets. 60 bullets, sorry. I can't read. Me no read good. 